Hey everyone, and uh, welcome to another uh, quick video on a practical tip in swine farming. Um, and today we want to look at warming up of vaccines. So what we know is that if we want to vaccinate piglets, especially with intramuscular vaccination, that the rate of potential adverse events, which are rare but still happen, is correlated with the temperature of the vaccine. And the colder the vaccine, the higher the risk. So what we want to do on the farm is to warm the vaccines up. Now, and uh, at the recent ESPHM 2022 that took place in Budapest in this year's May, our colleagues from the Benelux, Mark Schins, uh, Tron Krusen and Sonja Achten, they did a very interesting trial with warming up of vaccines in different conditions, different sizes of vials, and the vaccine was warmed up in air and using warm water. You can look it up. The poster is published on the ESPHM website and also in our uh, poster book. And what is interesting, if you look at the time needed, um, and in that graph, you see the air temperature and you see the water temperature. So a bucket with water with around 40 degrees Celsius. And you see in the different colors, the different vaccines. So yellow is 20 ml vial in water. Gray, dark gray is 20 ml in air. The same for 50 ml, 100 and 200 ml, each in water and in air. So what you can say, that it takes about five or less than five minutes for a while in the water bucket to reach room temperature. And room temperature is what we want to achieve at least. For the air vials, it takes about 20 minutes or even longer, so it's not even covered in the graph. And if you want to have body temperature, so 35 degrees up or 37, this takes about 20 minutes in the water bucket. So what we can conclude is warming up the vaccine in a bucket of warm water is a very safe and also fast method to do that and very practical and can be handled very well in a farm setting. And so I would say this is a recommendation. If you want to vaccinate, warm up your worlds in a bucket of warm water. Thank you and see you next time.